Hi, my name is Gary, and for this hack today, uh, what I'm going to be doing is showing you a, uh, a Google spreadsheet function, uh, actually two of them, really. Well, one of them is uh, conditional formatting, which I think is great, and the other is um, a, a utility add-on called Yet Another Email Merge. So we just started the second semester, and I like to survey my students to see you know, kind of what their interests are, uh, what do they find challenging, and all the responses from Google Form spill in here to this uh, spreadsheet. So the, the first thing is I want to show you conditional formatting. What conditional formatting says is certain conditions fall in cell, uh, conditions for that cell happen. So one of the questions I had on my survey was how would you rate your feelings about science class? No one said really stressful, but a few kids said sometimes difficult. So what I want to do on this column here where that says that I'm going to go down to conditional formatting. And if the conditions contains sometimes difficult, it's actually going to change that background color, and I'm just going to change that to, for example, kind of light red. And if it's any cell between H2 and H, I have about 120 kids, uh, that'll happen, and then I'll save that rule. So what that means, that entire cell will turn red, and that happens, you see, down here. And that just kind of helps me zero in on some of those kids and, you know, touch base a little more often than some of the, some of the others, or kind of generate a rapport with them. So this is the first thing um, that, that, that I want to show you. The second one's really cool. It's, it's, it's very simple. It's called yet another email merge. And um, this syncs well to your Gmail. And I already have this saved in drafts. So um, I've already kind of made this ahead. So I want to show you how to, how to do this. But anyways, you go into the add-ons um, and you go to get add-ons. And you can either scroll down for it or you can just search for yet another email merge. And since I've already installed it, uh, it just says manage. If you don't, you'll have to do that you know, yourselves. And then once that happens, you go and then you start the mail merge. And so the first thing it'll ask is, it'll ask uh, you know, some basic you know, questions. Uh, the first is recipients column. That's gonna be for me under the column B under the username. And so I'm just gonna click that and then hit save. And how this works is it basically creates a draft inside uh, help us support this. I'm just gonna skip this right now. And what this does is it actually takes a draft that's in your Gmail inbox. And I've already created this, but I'll go back and try to show you how to do this. So since you see like this science survey results is already here, but I'm just gonna take this happy new year template here and I'm gonna hit create. And this will pop a new draft into my, my Gmail. Uh, draft sort of folder. And right now it's kind of like a default sort of header and a generic little, little phrase. But I want you to pay you know, potential note to these what are called merge tags. And the merge tags you see right here look like you know greater than or equal signs. And basically what happens is I wrote an email, I said dear, and then I said email address. So you know here in my in my header it's email address. So my draft column what I'm saying is is like dear email address, and so whatever's in that column will then populate into there. So I got the results for survey can start working with you. And then what I did, all I did was just I went and I just copied, you know, the, the cell, I just press you know command C or control C if you're on a Mac or on a PC. And then I said, well, class, you and right underneath, I did the same thing with these little two merge tags. It's really simple. And what that means is that whatever students put in under the cell will then populate into here. So you'll see there's this question here, and then right underneath, I've added these two little merge tags, and the same thing, and same thing. And so this just kind of sends like a personalized email to those students. So this is what it looks like right here, and I'm gonna call this um, draft two, and um, I'll just kind of like demonstrate with just like one header here, it's like email address. So, you know, I'll just press like control C, and um, I'll go back here in my drafts, and I'll just delete all this stuff, and I'll say, dear, and then I'll have the two merge tags here. So there. And I say, um, I got your survey results. Um, thanks for the input, Mr. J. So anyways, th this is my draft two, and I'm not going to use this because it takes a little bit of time to, to, to do the merge tags. I don't want to bore you to death with that, but I think you get the idea. But anyways, what's, what, you know, once that's there, um, the email I'm looking for in my draft is called the science survey results right here. So I'm just going to delete this and go back to this. And so 
with my add-ons, I have yet another email merge. I'm just going to say start the email merge. And after you create that draft, it's going to ask you what is the draft you want to use. So I don't want to use the draft too. I'm just going to demonstrate that for you. Go back and skip this. And the draft here is not the draft too, but sign survey results. And so you can send 99 emails from this app today. Emails will be sent to column and column B. And I can do two, one or two things. I can send a test email or I can send all the emails. And I think sending a test email is actually a great thing to do. In fact, if you look here on this first column up here, this actually is my information. And whenever you're working with Google Forms and funky sort of uh, merge formulas, it's really nice just, to, I think, to test it on yourself. You can do it with a few like Autocrat and such. So I'm just going to send a test email. If that looks good, I'm going to send emails later. So I'm going to send a test email. And then what it's going to say is check your inbox, test an email. Depending on the speed of your internet, it may take um, anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds to pop in. But if everything looks good, then you can uh, give it the green light to do with all your kids. So I'm going to see, you know, here's my drafts here, and I have my two drafts. I'm just going to delete this right here, uh, discard that, and then I'm going to go to my inbox. And you see right there is my science survey results. So, you know, my information is here on the spreadsheet, and I'm just going to check it. And what it looks like here is this. So there it is, my dear, you know, is my, my name, information that I put there, everything that I have with those merge tags from my spreadsheet populated in there. So it's just nice, like, a nice way to kind of acknowledge that the students have, you know, uh, you know, submitted a response and been received. Um, it's really nice to work with students' uh, interests via a spreadsheet and have a big stack of like 50,000 papers. And uh, this is yet another email merge. So uh, give it a go, and I hope you enjoyed.